Let's say you haven't had the pleasure of seeing the first FUBAR film. Try to imagine a, a documentary style, kind of like The Office TV show, starring Diener and Terry, two hard-drinking hosers who make Bob and Doug McKenzie seem sober. Well, now they're back, and they're heading to oil country. This is our last party at our house. We're getting kicked out. It's been five years since we last saw Dean and Terry, and they're not exactly older and wiser. After a house-leveling eviction party, their buddy Tron, the one with the chainsaw, offers them jobs in Fort McMurray. We're going to Fort McMurray. Knowledge of non-knowledge is power. Once Dean and Terry arrive, they find they're a little underqualified for the petroleum industry. I got two skills, this one and this one. The secret weapon of FUBAR is how director Michael Douse makes his characters suffer. The first FUBAR had Deaner facing nut cancer. Now he's homeless while Terry's new girlfriend is spending money as fast as he can make it. I love it, I love it. An ode to mullet head madness, FUBAR 2 is dark and demented. There is a bit of a detour near the end with the strangest holiday scene you'll ever see, but the boys still know how to give her and give us a great time. First kill! Dean, that's a house cat. You killed someone's pet. Now, I should say, no cats were hurt in the making of this film. Brain cells? That's another question. And keep your eyes out for director Michael Douse's next film. He's going from hosers to hockey, a new movie called Goon. As far as FUBAR 2 goes, for head-banging hilarity and something to say, I rate it three and a half stars out of five. I'm Eli Glasner.